hi, hey, and hello to all the broken denizens of the internet. Once again, we're back with the Raisin Neon. I'm Jordan, your stalwart DM. When we last left our, uh, you know, I, I'm confident in seeing heroes with this squad. We're, we're, we're heroic here. We do cool shit. Did we do heroic shit? Last I heard, we, we blasted a man. I mean, he was corporate, so... We, for intel. Yeah. I'm warning you against people that deserve to get got. But you know what? Thank you for helping me with my recap. When we last left our stalwart heroes, the away team, infiltration team, that's accurate. Got done at the executive suites. They ran into the office of one Jonathan Gresham and a couple of... Oh my god. Not implants, check off and manufacturing goons as well. And through some clutch negotiation from Bitsnake Turgo, Jonathan Gresham got lit the fuck up. Yeah. His brain got hacked, and you got everything on his PC. We broke bread with comrades by breaking a man's skull with bullets. Yeah, that's bread. Yeah. And while I'd love to go into your findings of his computer and things like that, we're going to cut the camera to... It's just off the freeway, but it's a pretty large city roadblock. It's mostly still, and then you see the White Winged Dove fly past. And then maybe a beat, maybe two. We'll give it maybe three seconds at most goes by. And then at least five corny SWAT vans following in hot pursuit. Green and yellow kind of police lights are firing off, and they are also throwing, I don't know if it's copywritten to have a police alarm, but whatever their equivalent is. And they're gunning for you. They have a corn klaxon. A corn klaxon. Let's go. (laughs) All right. Corn klaxon. You know, I had a hard day at work, Lydia, and corn klaxon is going to fucking carry me to the promised land tonight. Thank you. (laughs) You're right. (laughs) Title drop. (laughs) Corn klaxon will carry me to the promised land. That's pretty all right. I'll give you that. You're getting chased the F down by four or five thereabouts SWAT vans. You've made good time because you're a professional and you crushed every drive roll I've given you every time we've been here. So like it is my you job. Could, <laughs> yeah, it is your job. So your rough estimate is that you're 45 minutes out, which is the planned pickup time. So what you really got to do is figure out how to get rid of this heat because it's going to be hard to pick up when there's multiple squat squads on your ass when you're trying to stop the pickup. Hey. <laughs> The idea that immediately comes to mind is I have intel from last session. One intel. You do? You do? I probably know cars. Or vehicles. (laughs) You could (laughs) might know a thing about a car or two. So, I feel that means that now that I've... I think I've had a few good looks at these corn squad vans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You've been clocking them from, like, session one, so you're good. So that means, I think... You know, just from observation, and also because I'm going to be that kind of person reading vehicular magazines while I eat my ill-gotten noodles. Got it. To know what that vehicle's strengths and weaknesses might be. You know, so, like, for example, I bet they don't turn sharp too well. Oh, you they... know, as it turns out, the first thing that came to my mind was, in fact, that, you know, big boy can't take a corner all that well. Has a very surprising max speed, for mm. sure. And can take a bit of a licking. Running into shit is not going to necessarily stop this thing, right? Right. But maneuverability, it's there to get 6 to 12 goons to a place quickly, right? Not prettily. So yes, its maneuverability is a lot to be desired. Oh, I feel what I need is... Something with a lot of curves and a lot of hard corners, hairpin turns. There's got to be a route from here. Saying, to are you asking to spend that, stuff, that right? intel to yeah. to get something like? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mark that intel spent, my friend. All right. You know, you have your eye on the GPS and you're glancing and you're glancing. Jaybird, that time dilation happens again, right? And now we go to a completely different playlist because it's game time right now. Use the cassette tape switch over. Yeah, and if you're trying to lose these guys off of a route that you know that's going to be very windy, I'm going to ask you to make an act under pressure roll. Okay. This intel will give you a plus one to this one. You get one hole. Gotcha. All right, here we go. All right. Oh. For the record, a uh, 10, 11, 12, right? 10 is my total. 
which is exactly what I wanted you to get. So we're good. Complete success. We love to see it. You do the shit in anime where the brake lights are trailing on the camera as you take these. Your clock is firmly set to Tokyo time right now. Oh, yeah. It's drift time, baby. I check to make sure Emma's seatbelt is fastened, by the way. His. Huh. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> on most people, you would. He would be. You would assume that he was his, his face was blank. But there's just this vibe of concern <laughs> that's going down right now with how you rock it on these things. <laughs> on these corners, I should say. <laughs> this is where we spend all the budget on our animation. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, No, we're throwing everything at the window. We're approaching what a finale would look like, so... <laughs> Are we getting, like, the liquid physics distortion stuff? <laughs> like, it might be a fisheye lens or matter is just bending against reality. Oh yeah, listen, we're throwing every visual trick that I got in this bad boy in the book. You definitely see a uh, corny SWAT van, at least one in the back, roll over when it tried to take a turn too hard. Roll over, slams on its side, rams into some some brick building. Uh, That shit's out of commission. Good start, good start. You've gained a significant lead that they're not necessarily visually in your rear view anymore. You definitely hear the sirens, Bill. Sure, there's going to be some spicy popcorn up ahead, too. Because mm-hmm. there's no way they're not talking to each other. Facts, facts. You think at this speed you have another three minutes on this road before uh, you hit like an exit that you need to take. And uh, Emmis will, at that point, bring up... So, from my understanding, there is an all-out battle where uh, your team is. It's that way... Not what we planned for. Not totally, anyway. Special thanks to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, Off the Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts, Games and Friends in Springfield, Massachusetts, as well as Triple A Games Arena in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken, join the community Discord. And maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash thebrokenlords. Thank you.